Hey, aren't you the guy from the car park? Listen, let me give you a ride. There's no more trains going from there anymore. No, I'm all right, mate. That's my train. Not anymore. Oh, shit. Get in the car, sunshine. Get in the fucking car. Family's got no money. What am I to you? No problem. That's what. You know the guy broke into the garage, don't you? Maybe. I didn't see his face. Okay, I can't identify anyone. But you can identify me. Just relax. Here's the baggage. It's fucking mistake. What the hell happened in that garage? The carabiner failed. What happened to your arm? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place. Letting an eyewitness get away. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ! And who the hell's crying? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice bowl? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. You need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes. Call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. Look, I, I don't know who you guys are or what you're up to, OK? I'm not going to say anything to anyone. Well, it's not going to take you long to figure it out, is it? Well, no, not if you keep talking in front of me, it won't. It'll be on the news, smart ass. Let me... I'm not a murderer. I don't intend to start now. <sighs> Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. Diffinoxin? What the fuck is that? Yes, would have had eggs like you. Hold still, making things worse. <laughs> Couple of weird dreams. This will all be over. Jeff, no one's picking up. For Christ's sake! This guy's gonna have to do. Are you serious? Are you gonna go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, we're not gonna see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr. Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You better not fuck this up. OK, let's get set. And what do I get in return? Don't push your luck. I'm taking his risk, so I want his share. Fuck off! Shut up, idiot. I'll be worth the money. OK, I'll tell you what, you two split 50-50, that's the deal. Done. You can't do this! It's done. Listen. You're joking. We'll find you something. <laughs>
think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already? I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume you're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when they're far more worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy calls are you? Tonight I am. Who's fooling themselves now? A crime still a crime. Welcome to Hainsworth's. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Thank you. I see you. Nine thirty. Again to my left. Nine forty. Do I hear nine forty? Nine forty. Thank you, sir. Looking for nine fifty. 9.50 to my left. Do I hear 9.60? Fair warning. I'm selling. 9.50 once. 9.50 twice. So, for 950,000 pounds, this marvelous 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is... Just Thank try to keep it powder nice dry. I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. I'm sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? And so we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Tran. Katie. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three simply beautiful pieces. remaining yes. examples okay, great. of a red down. phoenix pattern Sorry. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece, the sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Shit, he can't afford it. What did we say about not talking? And so, we shall begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five I get 20% of the Thank sale you, price, don't we? Phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these choice are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Mate, Thank you. Stop man. bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir. It's your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Nine I'm looking for.